products that I currently have for curly hair so I use these products in rotation there will be timestamps and you can skip ahead to whatever part you are interested in they're just products I collected over the years as I've been trying to embrace my curly hair it's a lot shorter now it was quite long I have a couple of reviews for these products already so I will link those down below if there's one that you would like to see then let me know down below there's a lot of products here so let's get started oh, so I'm gonna start off with my two favorite co-washes I did do a video comparing both of these the first one is the Shea Moisture Coconut Hibiscus co-wash conditioner cleanser this is eight fluid ounces and it's amazing it smells amazing the whole orange labeled line of Shea Moisture smells amazing the only thing I don't really like about it is that it's hard to get out of the bottle um, but it's very creamy and very moisturizing and I find that it definitely helps with frizz control my second favorite is the as I am coconut co-wash cleansing conditioner this has 12 fluid ounces this one also smells really good it cleans the hair without drying it out and leaves it very moisturized you only need a little bit this is perfect for someone who has tried many co-washes before but you feel like they are not really giving your hair that clean sense of feeling because co-washes don't lather up like traditional shampoos so if you are on the fence about co-washes I would definitely try this one out first for a co-wash that I don't really like this is the Miss Jessie's co-wash it's 12 fluid ounces it smells like laundry detergent um, it's also very drying on my hair and I find that it just adds a whole bunch of frizz it doesn't do anything special um, luckily I got it on clearance so it's something I'm using for the time being but I don't really like it I also have the Cantu sulfate free cleansing cream shampoo this leaves my hair squeaky clean it smells great it's reliable and it's perfect for people who don't like co-wash because again this one does lather up um, I did a whole review on it explaining the ingredients down below but um it's very reliable and I know in the review I was kind of on the fence about it but I've grown to really enjoy it last shampoo I have is from dippity do girls with the curls I did a review on the entire line this is the girls with curls shampoo and it is um, it does have sulfates it is drying it smells really good and it's very affordable um, though I would only recommend this if you're someone who doesn't leave your hair curly that often anyway like if you don't leave your hair curly on a regular basis then it's not a big deal to have products like this because at the end of the day you're not constantly using them but I feel like if you were to consistently use this it does try out your hair Speaking of Dippity Do Girls with Curls, this is their curl conditioner. It's 13.5 fluid ounces. This, this smells really good. It does contain silicones and um, I find it decently moisturizing in the shower, but the second I rinse it off, my hair doesn't feel quite as good. It kind of coats the hair and gives it the illusion that it's really working and it's really moisturizing. Um, but I would just stick to the styling products of this brand because I prefer them way better than the shampoo conditioner and the treatment that I'm going to A Shea Moisture Coconut Hibiscus Curl and Shine Conditioner. This is 13 fluid ounces. It does come with a pump but mine has since run out so I just tossed it um, smells great it's a lightweight moisturizing conditioner um, and the pump is really nice though I do feel like I have to use quite a bit of it to really moisturize my hair um, I do still enjoy it I also have the Shea Moisture Intensive Hydration Conditioner, which is also 13 fluid ounces. It's very moisturizing, a little goes a long way, it leaves my hair very soft and nice. I don't feel like this is particularly just for curly hair, but um, any type of dry damaged hair will really benefit from this product. So I really enjoy it. It's a recent one though, I've only been testing it out for like a week or two. So for treatments, this is a Dippity Do Girls with Curls Deep Treatment. It's 8.5 fluid ounces. I do feel this is more moisturizing than the conditioner. However, it's still something that I only feel works well in the shower. Once you rinse off your hair, there has no lasting benefits to it. It does smell really nice. The entire line smells kind of fruity, which is nice, I guess, but not something that I would recommend for really dehydrated hair. We have the Shea Moisture Intensive Hydration Hair Mask. This is 12 ounces. So this also leaves my hair nice and soft and um, frizz free. I will say it's quite heavy. A little bit goes a long way. Um, and I definitely don't put it anywhere near my roots if I plan on styling my hair that day because um, it does kind of weigh it down and make it a little bit a little bit on the limp side. Last but not least is one of my favorites. This is from Every Strand and it's the Argan Oil Hydrating Hair Mask. This is 15 ounces of product. Um, it has the same consistency like any other mask, but when you put it on your hair, it does kind of melt into it and make it um, feel more like a hair oil. 
This is extremely moisturizing. I would highly recommend this for anyone who has damaged or overprocessed hair it, because it really feels like it's doing something for your hair and not just something that's coating it and giving the illusion of moisturization. A little bit goes a long way too. Again, I don't put it all over unless I plan on not doing anything with my hair because again, it makes my hair a little bit on the limp side if I overdo it, but I tend to apply way too much product for my hair anyway, so. I have two Eco Styler gels here. I have the olive oil one and the crystal one. My favorite would probably be the olive oil one. I feel like it's super moisturizing. It gives your curls a nice shine and nice definition, and it doesn't leave it crunchy at all. I enjoy the crystal one just as much, but the crystal one kind of gives me a little bit of flakes um, if I put too much, but neither of them give me crunchy curls, which is good. I also have the Dippity Doo Girls with Curls Curls Curl Cream. This is 4.2 fluid ounces. I enjoy this. These styling products, as I said, are the best from this brand. Um, smells great, gives the curls nice definition and shape and it really holds them there without leaving them crunchy um, and it's an affordable option. We have the Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Curling Gel Souffle. This is amazing, this is hands down my favorite gel, it leaves the curls curly, spirally, great shape, great definition and, and no frizz whatsoever. The only thing is you really do have to be careful to not apply too much because it will leave your hair pretty crunchy. Last night I had it on and my hair was super duper crunchy. It comes down to personal preference, I guess, if you mind or not. Also keep in mind that if you're looking for this in stores to make sure that the seal is not broken because for some reason this product is always so sticky. People like to open them, especially at my Walgreens. And there's always at least three of them that have been opened already. So that's something to keep in mind if you're buying them from the drugstore, especially during their BOGO sales because People just like to stick their hands in them. I also have the Shea Moisture Coconut Curl Enhancing Smoothie. This is 12 ounces of product. One of my favorites. I use this all summer long and I do have a smaller bottle of it. This has a fun, moussey consistency to it. And again, it really helps tame the frizz. It gives your curls kind of a soft appearance. It's what I'm wearing today. Um, granted, my hair is not looking its best today. For some reason, it's just looking eh. It's this definitely uh, leaves your hair soft, though I would always pair it with something so that it's not so soft that it starts to frizz or loses definition. This is the Garnier Fruity Style Curl Scrunch. This is 6.8 fluid ounces. It is decent. It smells good. It's affordable. Slightly crunchy. Um, I don't really have much to say about it. It's decent. I just bought it once when I was like... Um, I had nothing else. There was nothing else available. Next is the Miss Jessie's Coily Custard 8.5 fluid ounces. I did a three minute review for this, so I will link it down below. My hair was much, much longer at the time. It leaves your hair shiny and soft without having a lot of frizz, and it helps to find the curls. I enjoy this way more than the Pillow Soft Curls, which is also something that I did a review last year, I believe. This is the Curls Unleashed Curl Defining Cream. You get 16 ounces of this. This is really good. I love that you get a lot of product with this. Um, it's definitely worth the money, but it has a weird spongy texture to it. Um, this would give, gives me really really soft curls with a whole lot of shine and generally first free it's what I use today so I slept on this as a second day hair so I think that's why it just doesn't look as good um, but it, the only thing I don't like about this is the scent it's shea butter and honey for some reason the honey portion of this really really annoys me I'm really not a fan of it but other than that I do enjoy this product now we move on to the as I am curling gel this is eight ounces of product it gives me nice curls it smells great I love this brand and I'm still trying out more of their products I get these at Target when they're on sale not sticky or crunchy no frizz but it does have good hold like I think that's what I'm lacking today is like some kind of hold and definition because right now they're looking a little bit limp. So now we have the L'Oreal Curl Taming Cream. This is 6.8 fluid ounces. This has the weirdest strange like white transparent like consistency to it. I cannot stand it. It looks disgusting but um, it does work. It's decent. It's on sale all the time at the drugstore. It's under $4 I believe. Again if you're a casual curly hair person then definitely something I'd recommend but otherwise I'd probably skip on it. Now we have the Labella Super Hold Styling Gel. This is 40 ounces of product. I got this at my local beauty supply store. Um, again affordable. Smells good. It's pretty good at first but I do think it does not help with frizz. My hair does frizz up quite a bit um, after my hair has dried once I've applied this to my hair. Next we have the Miss Jessie's Curly Pudding. This is 8 ounces of product. This is expensive. Um, smells like lavender, leaves your hair soft and light. Um, um, I prefer the Coily Custard just for my own hair, but um, this was fun too and I'm still using it. I still have quite a bit left. This is the Got To Be Kinkier Double Curling Power Gloss and Define Curling Spray Gel. This is a product that I didn't like at all because I feel like it did nothing for my hair. Whether I put a lot or whether I put a little bit, I saw absolutely no difference. It's a spray gel, so it's easy-ish to apply. It does get a little bit clogged on the nozzle, but you can run it under hot water to kind of fix that a little bit. But I feel like it did nothing for my hair whatsoever. 
This is the John Frieda Frizz Ease Curl Reviver Mousse 7.2 ounces of product. This is nothing special. Um, it's very watery. It's already lost its consistency, so it's no longer a mousse for me. John Frieda products I used to really love, but for some reason lately, yeah, they've just been a miss each time. <sighs> so this is this is decent for the hair. Um, it does give you good hold. I don't know if it's really good at cutting down frizz. Again, the watery texture bothers me now because I haven't had these products for that long. Um, I would only get these if they're on sale, like a really good sale at like Ulta or at the drugstore. Then I pick them up. Otherwise, I feel like you can find something better at the drugstore. Also from John Frieda, it's the Dream Curls Air Dry waves. I did enjoy this one a little bit more, but again, now it's just a plain watery mess. Um, it's overpriced, it lost its consistency, and um, kind of crunchy if you put too much. So this next product is one that I really love. It's the Not Your Mother's Whip It Up Cream Styling Mousse. This is seven ounces. Um, super duper concentrated, a little bit goes a long way. Um, it also smells like a vanilla cupcake, <laughs> so that's something to keep in mind if you're sensitive to fragrances. However, I really love it. I think it does great things for your hair. It makes really nice spirals. I really like how creamy it is. It really is a nice creamy mousse, and I will be buying it again because I do want to do a three minute review for this. I think it holds up throughout the day quite well. We finally reached the end. This is the last product. It's the John Frieda Frizz Ease Dream Curls Daily Styling Spray. So you're supposed to apply this throughout the day as touch ups, and it helps revitalize your curls. I felt it was decent, like, it just feels like water in a spray bottle that maybe has a hint of a hairspray scent. But other than that, I didn't really like it, so what I started doing was um, using, it as a tang using it as a detangler for my hair, which is cool, but it's like 6 or $7, and you could definitely get a detangler for way cheaper at the drugstore. So I would skip on this. I feel like it's not worth the money. Um, I don't feel a really big difference when I use it. And if you're looking for a spray like this that does really work well as either a detangler or as a refresher, the Shea Moisture one, it's always Shea Moisture, um, is really, really amazing. And I really recommend that one. I just happen to run out of it, so I don't have it in my collection. But that's it. We finally reached the end. Thank you so much for watching. If anyone's still here at the end, then I really appreciate it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys soon in another video. Bye guys.